Easy now. Let's make sure we know how to properly integrate fractions like this. Because it's giving Lund vibes. However, if we look at the denominator, that does not differentiate to the numerator. So it's not Lund just yet. We need to do some manipulation and this is going to be partial fractions. However, the power on the top is larger than the one on the bottom. This is an improper algebraic fraction. So we need to do long division first before we can do our partial fractions. So in order to integrate this, we're saying x squared minus 4. How many times does that go into x cubed? We're going to say x squared times what is x cubed? Well, x squared times x is x cubed. Then we multiply. Now, the interesting thing about this is that we have some missing terms, OK? So you can write 0x squared, 0x, and then 0. Because students make this mistake all the time. In fact, my year 13s in our first lesson made this mistake. I'll never forget, in it. So multiplying, we get x cubed. Then x times minus 4 is minus 4x. And then we subtract. So these cancel. 0x squared which we don't need to worry about, to be honest. In fact, you don't even need it. Okay, That would only be necessary if there was an x squared term here. But we have 0 minus minus 4x, which becomes positive 4x. Okay, So what students do is they forget this 0x and they carry down the minus 4. Guys, don't be that person. Okay, Then the 0 can come down. And then here, we're saying, well, x squared times what? is 4x. Well, it doesn't, OK? So if there was an x squared term, it would have worked. But without that, it doesn't work. So this is just our remainder, OK? So this integral becomes the integral of root 6 and root 8. I was hoping there to be an x squared term, because usually we have like a nice number there. But anyway, that goes into this x times. And we have this remainder of 4x, which still needs to be divided by the x squared minus 4, which then we can do partial fractions with. But we do need to do difference of two squares. OK, so let's do that. Now I'm going to show you guys the cover up trick here because we've done partial fractions. Now you can only use the cover up trick um, when the denominator is linear. Now, if you do do the cover up trick, you need to show some working out. How does the cover up trick work? If you want to find a, which we're going to write down, a equals, what you do is you get your hand, is you cover up that denominator. And you say, what would have made that denominator 0? It's minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So what you do is you cover up the x plus 2 on both sides, and you substitute in minus 2 into what's left. So you'd have had minus 2 minus 2. OK. Now what does that give us? That gives us minus 8 over minus 4, which the negatives cancel, we get 2. Let's do the same thing with b. What would make that denominator 0? Is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. Cover up the minus 2 on the other side, and you're just going to sub in 2. 4 times 2 over 2 plus 2 is 2. All right, so there we go. So we're actually integrating then x, and we've got 2 over x plus 2 and 2 over x minus 2. 2 over x plus 2, 2 over x minus 2 dx. And like I said, guys, with the cover-up trick, only do it with linear terms. If it had a bracket squared or bracket cubed, anything like that, do not use it. OK, now these two integrals will be very similar. I'm going to show you guys the guess for one of them. Now, this is all good. It's a fraction we're thinking about ln of the denominator. Now, when we differentiate that to check, we're going to get over the argument, differentiate the bottom to get the top. So that integrates that. But we want a 2 on the top. So we double both sides. And that's going to be the exact same for this one. Okay? So my integral is the integral of x, which is a half x squared. And then we have 2 ln and 2 ln between... Uh, root 6 and root 8. Now, before we substitute, I actually like bringing the LUNs together. Okay, So instead of having the 2 here, 
I would have a squared, and then you don't even need the modulus anymore, and then squared, and then bring these together, okay? Bring into these, these together means plus, means you multiply them, right? So you're multiplying these together, which we actually already know what they multiply to give us. You know, we did the difference of two squares, it's x squared minus four, x squared minus four, all squared, because they're both squared, isn't it? So we can rewrite this as a half x squared plus ln of, we have, x squared minus 4, yeah, that times that, all squared, yeah, between root 6 and root 8. Okay, now we need to make our substitutions. Uh, I'll keep the question, not the long division. What have we got? So something in root 8, root 8 squared is 8 over 2, 4. So we have 4 plus ln of root 8 squared is 8 minus 4, 4 squared 16. Or minus, you need to show this step in the exam. Root 6 squared 6 half 3 plus ln. Don't be overly dependent on your calculator. Root 6 squared 6. 6 minus 1, 2, squared 4. So we're left with 4, take away 3, and ln 16, take away ln 4. 4 take away 3 is 1, and then here we're going to get ln, the minus means division, so we have 1 plus ln 4, and that is proved. This would be like a 7, 8 mark question in the exam, potentially more because you have to sub in your limits as well. So guys, if you learned something today or reminded you about this kind of long division business that you need to be careful of, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe for more content. If you are interested in my full A-level maths courses, link is in the description. And feel free to join the Learn Gang community on Reddit if you want to submit your own questions and get feedback. I'll see you in the next video. Nice.